It's been called the fastest four seconds in sports and for a good reason. And it's back in Brainerd this weekend. The 35th annual NHRA Nationals are back at BIR. In the 35 years of this event, this is going to be the biggest Nationals ever. As the 2016 Lucas Oil NHRA Nationals get ready to kick off this weekend, everyone from track owner to race car driver is excited. Some of the best in the NHRA are here this weekend. 10,000 horsepower cars go from zero to 330 miles an hour in under four seconds. I mean, you blink, you almost miss it. You feel that in your bones, and it's one of the coolest feelings. The branded yeah. fans are so awesome, yeah. and um, this racetrack really is like a home away from home for, for not only myself, but Morgan Lucas and everyone at MLR, so really excited to be here. Last year's Top Fuel champion, Richie Crampton, is returning to defend his title. For me, it's really about uh, you know earning those valuable championship points. Going to be digging deep and trying to win again, but um, in all reality, we just need to go around. And with cool weather in the forecast, he expects to see some high speeds this weekend. When the weather's nice and cool and overcast like this, um, we can really apply the horsepower to the racetrack and try and break some of those record numbers like we did here last year when it was uh, you know unseasonably cool. So for us, if we can dodge the raindrops and uh, you know get some runs in when the weather's real nice and cool like this, it's going to be a awesome show for the fans and it's going to be really exciting for us as drivers too because it's going to be a really fast race. But no matter the outcome, Crampton says he's just happy to be here. We'll all be going out to the zoo and catching up with all the great fans out there and uh, that's always such a good time. So just this entire three day event is just going to be a lot of fun. I'm looking forward to every minute of it. Qualifying for the Lucas Oil Series began today and qualifying for the Mellow Yellow Series begins tomorrow. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.